On October 28, 1958, police arrested two black children and jailed them for months for playing a game with a white girl in Monroe, North Carolina. That morning on the playground, a white girl kissed on the cheek two black boys who were eight and nine years old. Their names were David Simpson and James Hanover Thompson. When the girl later mentioned the game to her father, he grabbed his shotgun and gathered a mob of white men to go to James's home, intent on lynching the two children and their mothers. The boys weren't home when the mob arrived, but police quickly found them, confronted them with weapons drawn, took them into custody, and severely beat them. Local officials held the children in jail for six days and prevented them from speaking with their parents or attorneys. The boys did not know why they were being arrested, and when they were taken to the police station, they were told that they were being accused of rape. While the boys were detained, a group of police officers broke into their cell wearing white sheets to intimidate them. Local white residents burned a cross on the Thompson's lawn, fired shots into their home, and even killed James's dog. Evelyn Thompson and Jenny Simpson, the two boys' mothers, were fired from their jobs. Denied attorneys, James and David were both charged with assault and molestation and sentenced to indefinite terms at the state reformatory. More than three months later, and only after the case drew widespread attention, North Carolina's governor pardoned the boys and released them. Neither the governor nor the court admitted to any wrongdoing, and no officials ever apologized for arresting, beating, and jailing the boys or for traumatizing the entire Black community. <laughs> 